We have the 20 millimeter ball screw nut, the 20 millimeter ball screw nut housing, and then we have the 20 millimeter ball screwed uh, 711A, where this is the mount for the, uh, that mounts on the end of the uh, ball screw itself. And then we have the ball screw itself right here. And that's it mounted on it. Well, we're gonna grease this taper lock with the bearing. We're gonna put it, we got a special little greaser here, but you can do it by hand. You're gonna press it down. You want grease to go all the way through the bearing and come out the top of the bearing, all right? We're gonna wipe that excess of grease off. Make sure you put a little grease on the outside. And your taper lock bearing is greased. Okay, this is our housing. The races have been pressed in already. So once you press the races in, you grab your two taper lock bearings, you put them together, you put them in like this. This housing is gonna go on this outside. Some Loctite, put a little Loctite on these bolts before we put it together. Gonna tighten these up. And that's how your tire block bearing's gonna come. This piece will be together on this other side. You're gonna take this apart, put this on your ball screw assembly. You're gonna slide it on like this and then tighten this up. All right, we're gonna put this ball assembly housing together. You're gonna slide this on. It's gonna seat all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna get our set collar. We're gonna put some Loctite on it. We're gonna screw this on. We're gonna tighten this down to take all the end play out of it. We're gonna wrench it down. We're gonna make sure it's seated all the way against this back ledge here. We're gonna back it off a little bit until this has no end play and it moves freely. When you get that set, we're gonna put a little bit of Loctite on this set screw. We're going to secure this socket head, rechecking. Sometimes it tightens up the end play a little bit, so it seems like it's a hair tight right now. So we're going to back this off a bit, retighten this until this moves nice and freely and it has no end play. After that, you're going to put the cap on. This is actually gonna to bolt to a part of the machine, but these bolts are just gonna to be to hold it together for shipping. Gonna set the housing on the correct direction. We're gonna put our guide on. Carefully put this on, keeping pressure against it. Screw this down. Set this up, have the grease fitting in the correct location. We're gonna grab our bolts with Loctite on them.
Put all your bolts in. And then tighten them down. Get your Allen wrench and torque them all down. All right, so after you have your assemblies all put together, you gotta make sure you grease them. Put your grease gun on your grease fitting. Grease it up. And then you're gonna go on your housing. You're gonna do the same thing. About six to 10 squirts, probably be about right. 